Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have for you a great low impact strength and mobility workout. So let's get our bodies warmed up and I'll just talk you through what's coming up with today's class. So we're going to focus. We've um, actually three parts to this workout. So part one, we're going to focus on the lower half. So seven exercises repeated twice for the lower half. That'll bring you to 14 minutes. And um, then we're going to move on to the upper half, part two. And the same sequence, seven exercises repeated twice, 14 minutes. And then I have a, a very short finisher at the end. We'll have a little break after the first two parts, just give the wrist and the grip strength a, a chance to recover. And then we'll come back and we'll do a finisher that um, I am going to use dumbbells with today. It's not a cardio finisher, it's more strength, more mobility, and I'm going to continue to use my weights for that. All right, you can do a body weight if you're feeling fatigued, but um, this is going to be a bit more of a push day today, all right? So if you have a heavier dumbbells, they're more strict exercises, we're going to be standing still, so you might get away with heavier weight with today's class. So if you have a variety of weights, have them handy. Okay, now also, before we move on, um, I have a small household step, as you can see here. If you've got anything like that lying around your house, have that handy as well for the workout. It's just for one exercise, but if um, you don't have anything like that at all, you can just do, I'll show you an alternative, okay? You'll just be doing a knee raise rather than stepping up and down. Also the kitchen chair, I'm bringing back the pistol squats as well today okay and i'll show you even a further modification on that one as well so don't worry about the pistols if you find them tricky and um, you'll you will you will master them i guarantee you okay let's bring those arms up higher above the head great so this is going to be a really wonderful workout here today to get you strong keeping the body mobile keeping that muscle on your frame to keep us nice and young because I always say muscle on the frame, to me, anyway, I believe is really important for just keeping the body young and keeping your, your body functioning correctly, your metabolism, your mobility, how you move every day. It's so, so important that you work on your strength. Good, okay. Nice stretch here for the trunk. Belly button is in, engaging those abs as we always do. That's it. Now let's drive that arm across the body. Lovely, lovely way to wake up that upper half, stretch out those muscles around the shoulder blade. You feel a nice stretch there behind you. That's it. While we keep the legs moving and bring that heart rate up a little bit. Great. Let's do four, three. I want you to keep the legs open about hip distance. Two more. Last one. Little push press. Push, press. Okay, getting into those shoulders now. A little bit of shoulder and chest work coming up in the upper half. Part two. That's it, punch out the sky. Breathe in, expel out that air. Good, let's hear that air coming out. Well done. That's great, pressing the weight into your heels. That's great. Now let's go torso reaches across, across, stretching out the rib cage, the torso area. That's it, get that air out as you punch the ceiling. So I recently um, uploaded a video onto the channel, a balance and posture workout. And uh, some of you were telling me you were having a little bit of trouble with the pistol. And I understand that it is an extremely advanced exercise. I find even using the chair, you really have to have good balance for it. But again, I will break it down and leave in a little bit more today in case you just your feedback helps me to understand how you're getting on and how to break down and make the exercises even a little bit more doable for you. So we'll introduce that today. Okay, two here. Last one now, little circles, really working into that shoulder area, chest and upper back to get you nice and ready for part two, which is the upper body. Part one is the lower half. We're working for 15, 45 as well today. So 15 seconds rest, 45 seconds to do the actual work. 
and you can also you can increase that work time if you want to up to 50 seconds which means you'll decrease your rest time down to 10 so that's an option for you you can also increase the sorry decrease the work time if 15 seconds is not enough rest for you that's it good two to go last one crisscross those arms let's keep those feet moving gosh you're feeling a nice bit of heat coming into the body particularly that upper half now it's been going good good few minutes now up high if you can if not just stay in front of your body in front of your tummy good that's it now open up the chest there squeeze those muscles or traps in your rhomboids between your shoulder blades tap out the floor five seconds four three two and one now let's just do a little bit more squatting okay now we do have a box squat coming today that is an option for you if you really really can't do pistols but um it is included in today's workout number four exercise four so even if you're having trouble here in the warm-up have your chair look just sit down on your chair just make sure that the chair is centered up and make sure the chair is not going to move on you okay it's really important that you make sure the chair is not moving on a wooden floor put down a mat or something to keep it steady the same with the step if you do have a household step like this just make sure it's not going to slide off on you head is held high to the ceiling here the bottom is leading the bottom is the first thing to move back and down head goes up high that's it good tap the chair you notice i'm not sitting back in the chair okay right i think we'll get going we have a deadlift coming up today now we do a lot of single leg deadlifts on the channel but i'm bringing in a two leg deadlift today okay both legs working together right let's get started where's my timer okay so we 15 seconds to get going all right there we go first exercise are just lateral squats okay mini squats for anyone that has issues okay so all we're doing was just stepping out to the side sitting the hips down back to the middle and over we go okay there's our beeper now if you have trouble with squats all you have to do is just a little seat or you could just hold your dumbbells out in front and tap out your chair again okay so there's plenty of options just don't rule out the exercise for yourself. Good, keep that head up for me. Press the weight into your heels. Chest is high. Think about tailbone going to the floor. Leading, let your bum stick out. Lead with your bottom. Head is up high to the ceiling. Good. And over. And the weights are just held out in front for resistance and they will naturally keep your chest upright now this is the step ups so if you have a step let's use it now okay so what we're going to do is hold the weights again up in goblet one or two weights and then just step up and knee okay and you can you can alternate it if you like or you can do one leg and do the other leg round two whatever you prefer whatever works best for your balance now, if you haven't got a step, you're just doing a knee raise on the floor. Okay, knee raise, step back. Knee raise, step back, okay? So up we go. I'm just alternating here, but you do what you like there, how you feel today. You can see it's actually a little bit more tricky on the balance. Good. Now, this will get the heart rate up a little bit. Any time you step up, you drive your weight up towards the ceiling or up in an incline it will get your heart rate up okay junior i'm breathing heavy okay i've got heavier weights today deadlift so we're reaching the weights down towards the floor back up straight okay nice uh, basic exercise but very effective that's it just the slightest bend in the knee Keep your neck relaxed this is great for your posterior chain so the same muscles that work with the dumbbell swing or the single leg deadlift or single leg squat or something you might call it good squeeze your rear as you come up 
Don't worry if you can't get the dumbbells all the way to the floor. That's not what we're looking for. Good. Breathe in on the way up. Breathe out on the way down. Come up straight in your spine. That's good work. And make your way up. Good. Now, this is our box squat. I'm going to use a bit of weight with it. Okay. So just one weight. Or you could use two if you like. We're just going to tap out the chair and stand up tall. Okay. Simple. Very simple. Just working the lower half. Good. Squeeze. That's it, stand tall, head going up to the ceiling. Sit yourself down, come up out of it, great. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can add another weight, okay, add a second weight. That's it, good. Come up, squeeze your bottom. Don't hyperextend your spine though. Just squeeze your bum and stand up tall. That's great. Good, squeeze it out. Now we've got some low step backs coming next. So that's a challenging move as well on your lower body. If you don't want to, you can just, I'm gonna actually stick with one weight here. If you don't want to, just do regular step backs, okay? Because it does require a deep bend in the knee. Okay, all right, let's get ready for this one. Abs engaged, good, step it back. Now you can see how challenging the move is. You have to keep your chest upright. That's it, look forward, find a fixed spot. Good, remember, stand up tall and just step back. Maybe you can like, try and bend your knees slightly just to challenge your legs a little bit more. Maybe you can get down into a low, low move. That is great. Good, this is definitely a push day today. You can feel those muscles working very quickly. Pistol squat next now. So if you haven't got around to doing the mobility, or sorry, the balance and posture workout, I introduced this exercise. I'm gonna put the weight down for it. I really think it should be done body weight when you're learning. Okay, and a cushion. I forgot to say a cushion. That'll even make it easier. So we're gonna stick one leg out. Whoops, sit down. Don't fall off the chair, okay? Sit on the chair and push your way up. Now, if you're having trouble with that, you can sit on the chair, put one foot down, and then just stand up tall. And then try again, leg out, sit down, foot down, stand tall, okay? Try that way. So they're sort of like, maybe what you might, might call negatives. Good. And you're really working one side here. Sit down, drive yourself up. Good, put your foot down if you need to regain balance. Good, you can really feel that leg working hard and drive yourself up. Now I'm actually picking a very fluffy cushion, which is knocking my balance too much. I should have picked more flatter cushion. Okay, other leg now, arms out in front. Make sure that the chair's right underneath you. First one's always a little bit wobbly. Good. And drive your way up. Now, if you're finding it hard, sit down with one leg, put one foot down, stand up tall, okay? Now, if you're finding that even too challenging, go back to the box squat. Okay, you're gonna have to keep returning to that exercise just for a little while. Okay. And down and up good we're going back to our lateral squatting next good sit down drive your weight up well done now great as great as it is working the lower half it's tough because it's not going to get a break here really at all apart from the 15 seconds okay we're straight back to more squats right out we go down and down, great. Again, box squatting. If you have issues with squats, you'll be a master of those very quickly today. And out we go. Go keep that chest up for me. Good work. Send your tailbone down to the floor. 
that's it and open hips down good close open sit down bring the legs back to the center sit down good you're feeling those legs good work now step ups so if you alternated around one stick to alternating if you're tiring put down one weight that's it just keep moving or just put down both weights go body weight okay any second now let's go up and knee raise switch up good now make sure your abdominals are engaged here good and up. you might even have a an actual exercise step lying around somewhere in your house gathering dust so if you do here's a an exercise that I love to do myself when I'm working out just stepping up or going up and down the stairs is great exercise for your legs and your bottom that's it and it really works the heart and lungs too good up step back and make your way down great okay now we have our deadlift next just move that out of the way okay deadlift now abs engage tilt the help pelvis back a little bit okay feet about hip distance apart squeeze out the, the rear as you come up the glutes but don't lean back none of that okay use your tummy muscles to control that lean back down to the floor squeeze and up again keep that neck relaxed and up good the legs are quite straight here so you'll feel a good stretch on the back of your legs your hamstrings it's a great exercise for your hamstrings your glutes working that back side of the body and up and we'll just finish out this one good now box squat okay so again you might want to do a body weight one weight see how you go okay if you don't want to use a chair just do a squat yourself just using your own body no assistance squeeze out good and squeeze out the glutes okay so you should be feeling the backside the butt cheeks contracting and relaxing that's it good sit down and up got those low step backs coming next or modified modified back lunge if you don't uh, if you find those low step backs too advanced squeeze it out good squeeze great work this is brilliant if really feeling the lower half getting a good good amount of work today keep going now because when we get to the upper half the lower half will get somewhat of a break okay low step backs how we go we go one way to take it one way because it's hard enough this exercise okay engage those shoulder blades get ready abs in, engaged step it back good keep those shoulder blades now gently retract it there just bring them together slightly good behind you modified back lunge if you are struggling with it okay you might be able to bend the knee slightly keep breathing you can hear my breathing's quite exaggerated i'm trying to get that air in and out good now we have the pistols next if you really have trouble with it just try there what i was showing you maybe just sitting down put the two feet down then to get it back up again that's another way to get through these very advanced exercises and I always like to do pistol body weight okay I think it's hard enough All right hands out in front leg out okay get your balance bring your belly button into your spine make sure the chair is on right underneath you and stand up okay you can put your foot down if you need to regain your balance that's fine stand up now if you're really having trouble sit down put your foot down stand up okay and then repeat it foot out sit down you probably find this is the most challenging exercise today good you can see how much it just challenged the balance 
Good. Keep going. Your ankle there. The ankle's quivering away. All those little muscles, ligaments, and tendons are getting a good workout with the pistol. Good. Sit down. Well done. Okay, we've got the other leg. Now, don't get frustrated with it. If you're having issues, don't worry. Go back to a box squat. Try and do one rep of this or even two. And that's fine. If that's all you can do, that's fine. Okay. That's it. Sit down. Stand up. And up. Good. Feel the power in those quads and those glutes getting you up out of the chair. That's it. Good. And do your best not to flop into the chair. Sit down gently. That's it. Drive out of the hole, as we say. Good. And drive yourself up. Great. Down. And up. Good work. Come on. You're getting there. You're doing it. Keep going. Clear the beeper. There we go. Well done. I have to clap you for that one. Okay. That's 14 minutes. Now we're on to upper half now. Single arm. So we're doing, stick your bottom out. One, two singles, and then a double. Okay, so abs engage, stick your bottom out. One, two single arm rowing, two double. So we're onto the upper half now. Okay, good. One, two, two together. One, two, two together that's it keep going one two together great one two we've got a bicep curl right side then left side then two to get two together a bit like this um, sequence here good drive that weight up to your rib cage do your best there to keep your back straight it's a it's a tricky one all right if you have trouble again get your chair and do some rowing with the chair okay one side round one Second side, round two. One, two, this is the next one. Curl up for two, okay. Abs engaged, tilt the pelvis back, feet hip distance apart. Good. Two, two together, good. One side, second side, two together. Now, as I always say to you on my videos, tuck your elbows into your little waist pockets to protect your elbow joint. One, two, two together next one we've got some lateral raises so we're raising the dumbbells out to the side and straight into an upright row and that's a hybrid move but i'm trying to fit in as many muscle groups as i can in your workout today one two good one and two we'll just even out the biceps there now a lateral raise out to the side upright row okay so we're really going to hit the side of the shoulder here and the upper back muscles. So we're hitting a lot of upper body muscles next. Right, out to the side. Whew, upright row. How are you getting on? Have you gone up a little bit heavier in your weight today? You can let me know in the comment box below the video. I, I really do like to know how you're getting on. Good. Or any little tips I can give you if you're struggling. Anyway, don't worry about the word struggle. It sounds so defeatist. But actually, this, a struggle is great when it comes to strength training. If, a, if, if there's a little bit of a struggle there, your body's getting stronger. Believe me, it's the complete opposite with, when it comes to exercise. Struggle is good. <laughs> okay. That's it. Feel those upper back muscles kicking in now. We've got a, two flies next. Two back flies. That is not chest flies. Back flies. Two back row. So one, two and two rows my goodness i am feeling the burn i am seriously feeling the burn in my upper half here okay let's go stick your bottom out abs engaged one two now two back fly i'm gonna hit those back muscles a little bit more good change down to your weights if you're struggling and if you're really really having a hard time even though i say the word struggle you want to struggle, but not to let the weights overcome you. So if that's what's happening to you, try it even body weight if you haven't got any lighter weight. One, two, good. 
as long as you're engaging those muscles you're getting a good workout one two tricep extension next i'm going to go down you can either go for a lighter weight for that one or change down to one weight okay hey this little household steps coming in handy for me today being able to put my weights down somewhere not having to go to the floor now you know your extensions so you can do it with two weights but you might have to go lighter or just change down to one extend those arms right up to the ceiling notice the elbows are tucked into the earlobe I'm not leaning back watch that you don't want to be doing that don't hurt your back you shouldn't feel strain in your lower back here breathe out as you raise the weight up in as it comes back down bring it back down just before it tips your upper back there straight into another rep good abs engaged now we're back to lateral raises again but this time we're going to combine it with a front raise so we'll be hitting the back of the shoulder front and side today with this one good okay well done triceps kick in really quickly all right so back to lateral raising or side raising out to the side out to the front okay this is a tough one with these uh, these weights these heavier weights out to the front good side out to the front I have a slight bend in my knee if you're feeling your back you can step one leg behind you that sometimes that helps with a lot of people with first of all their balance but also it helps with their lower back good and out in front that's it so you can get a full range of movement there right up shoulder height shoulder height again out the front good work come on keep going I am so glad I was going to do a 1050 today I'm so glad that I uh, left it at 45 seconds this is tough now I am going to go down for pec deck I'm combining it with a chest press so I like to get a full range of movement and I think the lighter the weights and um, the more range of movement you get with pec deck okay so pec deck and out in front for chest let's go pec deck out in front for chest experiment yourself with weight here I even think this is great body weight as long as you are engaging the muscles okay so tense them up a little bit good push away and you can always make light weights feel heavy by uh, slowing down the movement working against gravity that's it open close and out and as I always say with strength training I'm not looking for like 30 reps just a few good reps repeat the round you're good to go good and now we're back to single single arm rows and then doubling up okay good work that was great so we're into round two now so go back to the heavier weights right so we're going to bend down bend over stick the bum out behind you get ready for this relax your neck one two two together good one two two together great one and two two together now I hope you're engaging those muscles between your shoulder blades your trapezius and your rhomboids that's it you're feeling them long arm down long arm down two arms down that's it good one two two together and one two two together good work keep going come on two together that's it one and I'll just even myself out there with two great now straight into bicep curl you don't have to have rest time if you don't want to we're gonna have a little break now in a second after these last few moves so it's one here two and then both together okay one two two together good work one two two together nice and slow on the return good your muscles again like are fighting gravity the longer you can keep them under tension the stronger they will get that's it so again we have two words there today struggle and tension you might think very negative words not when it comes to working out 
they're good things when it's what you're working at as long as you're staying the struggle is not overwhelming you okay you've got to monitor that yourself good down and two together we finish out nice even now we have our lateral raise upright row so good stance abs engaged lateral raise into upright row okay and I need to take a breather here I'm feeling the upper half now all right out and up good out upright row good you're doing a great job good work you're feeding the burn now in those muscles this is a great one you can add to a cardio workout if you have about an hour to work out get this in first maybe do 20 25 minute cardio workout when you're done good out upright row good work come on you're nearly there upright row keep going come on you can do it well done brilliant work okay give those arms a break two back flies two back row so again we're going to go into a bent over position if you're not able to just quickly i'll show you put your chair out in the floor here the center of the floor and do a back row here okay now obviously you'll have to work both sides all right abs engaged shoulder blades engaged shoulder muscles engaged and what are we doing flies yeah one two back row for two good one two and more back rows good so your back is getting a good workout today love these hybrid moves two row for two come on keep going one two row for two we're going to work those triceps next now okay so choose whether you want to drop to a lower weight or you'd like to stick to a heavier weight but you might have to drop down though and we're going to extend the dumbbell up towards the ceiling okay now that's it come on keep going nice long arms up to the ceiling keep them close to your earlobes abs engaged not leaning back come on breathe for me breathe in breathe out good keep going come on you're doing great we have a lateral raise next and front raise that's it come on keep moving the body keep going you're doing great come on stay with me that's it push your way through it definitely is a push day good well done really feeling the backs of those arms okay now we're back to lateral raise front raise okay let's go with this one all right so we're going out to the side and then out to the front okay let's go out to the side out to the front out to the side out to the front good work side front keep moving your body come on you're doing great i know you're probably feeling fatigue now setting in at this, at this stage we'll have just a short rest and come back and we'll do our finisher good that's it come on you can do it it's only three exercises in the finisher and out to the side and front raise again do that split stance if you need to good and I'm just going to finish it to give me a bit of an even exercise now I'm going down for the last one pec deck okay make sure you are putting your dumbbells down on a chair or a cabinet or something even that step is really handy just saves you putting them up and down or bending your back too low good push out great full range of movement here push out good that's it open close out open close your arms push away good any push move will work the chest push up okay push anytime you hear the word push you're working your chest muscles 
Anytime you push something, push a pram, push a lawnmower, you're working your chest. Oh my goodness, the burn here is incredible. Be looking forward to a break here. Good. And I'll just finish it. Well done, well done. That is great work. Okay. Ooh, let's take a moment to breathe. Okay, have a little sip of water. Excuse me. And I will see you back here in a moment. Hello everyone, you're very welcome back. Now let's get on with our quick four minute finisher. The first move we're going to do is a dumbbell snatch. Okay, one side, and then we're gonna change over to the other side. Next move, the chair is back again, or you could even, if you have that household step, use it if you want to make it a little bit more um, intermediate level. Down onto the floor for more advanced. Um, it's burpee on the chair, okay? So you're stepping back, stepping forward, reaching up, not gonna use weights on that one, okay? Step if you want to make more intermediate, more advanced, down onto the floor. That's gonna wake up your lower back now if it's a morning workout. Okay, and then we have another one down onto the floor or the chair. No weights for, for this one if you're on a chair. And you can see I have the chair supported with the weight, okay, or push it up against a wall. Good, and you're just rowing, and it's got two knee tucks as well, okay? Rowing and knee tuck. If you want to go down onto a coffee table or a step like that, that'll make it more intermediate and more advanced. You can use weights as well here if you want to, or you're on the floor, you'll be okay with weights. And then one and two, okay? Right, let's get the blood flowing to the head here with this one. Okay, put your weight down on the floor. Again, it's a nice one with a heavier weight because you're using a big muscle groups in your lower half to lift um, a fairly heavy weight. Okay, now 15 seconds to get into your position. Just four minutes just to finish us out here today. It's a little bit of a different finisher, not so much cardio. Mind you, you might get your, you'll get your heart rate up with those burpees, I'm fully sure of it. All right, let's go. Okay, one side only and up good stick your rear or your bottom out behind you there good and again like the, it's very much like a dumbbell swing or a kettlebell swing you are bringing the hips forward good keep the back straight don't round your shoulders head up and then fire those hips forward very much like a kettlebell or dumbbell swing good that's it. I am getting cardio here. I'm out of breath. Good. Up over the head. Well done. Okay, now the other side to do to even out the body. So let's get into position. Abs engaged. Even tilt that pelvis back a little bit to really help with abdominal engagement. Feet flat on the floor. Head nice and high. Think about sticking your bottom out behind you, keeping the head up. And you notice the other arm is out to the side to balance out the body. Good. This is a wonderful exercise again for the posterior chain and obviously for the upper half. It's a great full body exercise. The mobility in the shoulders is amazing. Good. Now if you can't bring weights up over your head, bring it out to the front. Just see what you can do, okay? Find something that will work for you. Good. Out in front of your chest is fine. You're still getting your heart rate up. You're getting your lungs working hard, more efficiently than you would if you were just <clears throat> sitting down. <clears throat> You're getting mobility into your hips. It's all good. Well done. Now we're into that burpee, okay? So choose what you want to do, whether you want to do it on the chair, okay? Or whether you want to go down more advanced on the floor, but however you're feeling today. Okay, get ready to step back. Second leg in, in, and up. I'll just I'll give the floor a go. Step back, step back, in, in, reach up. Good. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> reach up. This is a good one I, I like to do for a warm up as well. Kind of warming up the lower half before you do your workouts. And you can always start if you're doing this as a warm up up on a higher level just to help your back out a little bit. Reach up, good. One, two, three, four. Reach up. And one, two, three, four. Reach up. And there we go. Okay. 
renegade rows. Now, I'm gonna try with these with weights. Don't forget the two knee tucks, so two rowing, two knee tucks. Remember, go up onto the chair, no weights on the chair though. Just uh, use your body weight. One, two, one, two. Good. One, two, and knee, and knee. Good. Notice my base with my feet is quite wide. That really does help with your balance and your stability. One, two, good. One, and two. Try not to bang the weights. Place them down on the floor quietly. One, two. It's great tummy exercise, this one. In that plank position. One, and two. One, two. Knee, and knee. And there you go. Make your way up slowly. Great work. I was a very quick four minute finisher. Now, my heart rate is up high after that. Didn't think I'd get too much cardio there, but up and down on the floor. Let's bring it down a little bit. Step, touch it out. Now, if you liked that workout, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can let me know how you got on with it, okay? And leave your any comments you have or how you got on with it. Let me know about that pistol squat. How are you managing it today? Okay, you can just uh, drop me a comment in the box below the video. Thank you so much for working out with me today. You did a great job. Let's bring that heart rate down before we say goodbye. Now I will have, um, I link up my cool down playlist in the description box below the video for you. Here, I'm just trying to just get that heart rate down for you. Okay, let's stretch across, stretch. Good work. I hope you enjoyed that. I really, really love the strength workouts. That's it, now stretch across, feeling stronger already. That's it, reach across, nice stretch from your armpit down to your hip. Let's switch over. Good, lovely trunk or torso stretch. That's it, you can run the other hand down the outside of your leg. Okay guys, I'm gonna to have to say goodbye to you. That was a long one today. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thumbs up to you and I'll see you really, really soon. Don't forget to get a longer cool down in. It's important, particularly after lifting weights. See you soon. Bye bye.